Hey everyone, we're over here at Therapy on the Rocks in our brown bear treatment room. And today what I wanted to do is I wanted to share with you an alternative way to work with lateral shifts for patients who can't stand because of pain, deconditioning, they just don't have the strength. This is a different way than we actually teach at the fascial pelvis class. And we usually share it with our skill enhancement participants when they come for a week of training. Before we actually get our patient on the table, um, what I'm going to do is just kind of review exactly what a lateral shift is. So if you look over here, um, our nice little patient over here, Kathy, um, is just standing normal. And so a lateral shift is actually when the pelvis and the trunk don't line up with each other. You can, you can identify it by the pelvis, and so you could say that Kathy actually has a right lateral pelvic shift, or you can identify it by the trunk and say that she has a left lateral shift of the trunk. But basically, her, her blocks are not on top of each other. And this could be a bracing pattern because of um, trying to avoid a painful position or something else. Don't have to know why, we just have to identify what it's like. When we actually do this technique um, at fascial pelvis, we usually do it in standing. Um, but again, like I said, sometimes we have patients that are um, a little bit older and can't stand as long as we need them to do to correct it, um, or they have pain or just general weakness. So what we've noticed is if we can actually put them on the table and use wedges to actually lift their body, we can correct it much easier. So to be able to do this type of uh, correction in this alternative me method, your patient has to be able to tolerate lying on their stomach. So I've got Kathy on the table and she's lying on her belly. And as you can see, if I was to place my hands here, you can see where her pelvis is moved more over, or shifted more over to the right, and her trunk relatively is shifted more over to the left. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use wedges underneath her pelvis and underneath her shoulders to actually lift and float her body, and then do the technique the way that we were actually taught at the fascial pelvis class. And if you haven't gone to the fascial pelvis class yet, you need to put that on your list because this is a great way to work with the patient's center of gravity. And as John has said many times in his seminars, that the cornerstone to his approach is about balancing the pelvis, but also making sure that everything else is aligned around it appropriately. So we place these as a little V underneath the AS, ASISs in the front, kind of like if you were to correct a bilateral anterior rotation but then we also place another set of wedges underneath the patient's shoulders. So if you have a patient that um, is really rolled forward, rounded shoulders, or if they're kind of busty, this is a nice way to take pressure off of the chest and also to help kind of open up the chest by placing the wedges like this. If you don't have a second set of wedges at home, I would encourage you to maybe think about getting a second set for your treatment room because you can use them all over the body. Um, but if you don't have a second set and you want to try this technique, you can place a pillow underneath their chest and that will help to lift them up. So now we're going to do the technique just the way that John um, instructs us at fascial pelvis. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to assess the motion to find the direction of ease. So we've got this motion. That looks pretty good. And then when I go this way, there's a lot more resistance. So like John has taught us so many different times before, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the direction of ease. We'll hold this for about five to seven minutes, allowing for the releases to occur, following the body wherever it goes. After we have enough releases in this direction, then we'll go for the correction. And like I said, patients really enjoy this um, because it's, um, if they have issues with standing, um, or just are having some discomfort down their back, by taking gravity out of the equation, they're able to stay more present during the technique. So try this with your patients and see how it works. And we hope we look forward to seeing you guys sometime in the near future.